Please, why don't you go on to Ruby's and just let Sonny chill for a while? Maybe you, uh, you can put a word in for me? I'll see what I can do. Well, it would be great if you could. Oh, uh, just so you know, Luke, uh, I'm not expecting any miracles. I'm not promising any. I said you, Luke, falling for a two-bit car like that. Well, even I have my weakness, I guess, huh? Sonny... No, 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 look, I'm not, I'm not in no mood to stand around here reminiscing about my screwed up childhood. Do you want to compare dysfunctions? You have no idea what this is about. The last time I saw my father, I was seven years old. We had no food, no heat. Only a half-empty bottle of cheap scotch. My mother had just died from a burst of appendix in front of my eyes. My father took one look around, polished off the bottle, and walked out on me, my three-year-old sister, and my mother's body. So don't tell me I don't know what you're going through. I'd like to kill the best. No one gets me. He expects me to welcome him with open arms. I did that already too many times. He'd be, he'd be gone for two, three years sometimes, you know, and then he'd He'd walk in and I would light up like a Christmas tree and I'd say, yeah, you know, maybe this time. Then he'd call my mom out of grocery money and split. But you know what the killer was? She never stopped loving him. And every time Deke would look at me, I was a reminder of That's a whole other story. To hear Mike tell it, he never stopped loving her either. You know, he could have fooled the rest of them. Do not believe him. Luke, he'll say he did it for us, that we were better off without him. Don't believe him. So you want him out of here? Well, he had his chance. What would you do if your old man walked in? kill him but not before I got some answers I get these big holes in my life great empty spaces and no matter how hard Laura tries and believe me she's done miracles she can't fill them I just want to if he walked in he's probably dead but if he had the guts to walk, walk in here now, I just want to take a good hard look at him. I want to understand what kind of a man does what he did to us. And I want to know how like him am I? Scary stuff. But the answers to those questions might sometimes help me sleep at night when I can't. I just wouldn't send him off packing so quickly. Well, I guess the old cat. It's another life after all. Well, you asked me a question. I uh, answered with my truth. The rest is up to you.
what I'm used to, uh, the snappy repartee, the quick banter. Uh, fresh out, Ruby. Would you be joining me? Just for a minute. Can I get you something? No, no, just, uh, no thanks, just won't take one. Well, if you change your mind, just let me know. Okay. <clears throat> you got what you wanted, then again. You always manage that somehow. I got an idea. Why don't we switch the rules a little? How about you give me what I want? Tell me what you want. I'll do my best. The truth. What do you... Why are you really here? Oh, come on, don't tell me you don't got some answer already thought up and ready to go, Mr. Glib, Mr. Always ready with the words. What is it? You broke? You looking to con me into bankrolling some get-rich-quick scam? You got some, uh, swamp land in Florida? What? Better yet, why don't we, why don't we save everybody time and just get to the part where I find out how much it's going to cost me to see your back? Do I get to say something now? Of course I'm broke. I'm always broke. But I didn't come here to hit you up for money. But you wouldn't turn it down. Actually, I would. I came here because I wanted to square a few things with you. Why? And why now? I went to a funeral a few months back. A guy named Bernie Lang. We served in Nam together. Bernie was amazing. He was fearless in that wacky way only the truly insane can pull off. And then he was convincing. You know, we actually felt safe pulling duty with Bernie because we figured there was no way that death could ever find Bernie Lang. I saw him seven, eight months ago. Same old Bernie. Great shape. Still crazy as a loon. And then boom. I get a call. Bernie's gone. A stroke. Turns out death was able to find Bernie Lang after all. Things started coming in on me. How Bernie and I are the same age. How you run out of time, how things stand between you and me. So I, I decided I, I shouldn't wait until it's too late. <laughs> 